This is a demonstration of the OPAX opacity sensor from EMX Industries. The sensor features a uh, control unit at receiver with a display of 0 through 99, which is an indication of the light transmission or the relative light transmission through the uh, sample material. So if I block the light, the uh, signal level drops significantly down near zero, and if I allow the light to be transmitted, uh, I get a reading at full scale of 99. So the, the sensor also features a uh, discrete output, NPN or PNP discrete output, and it's automatically selected. And the discrete output triggers when the signal level exceeds a threshold. So as I block the light, you see the red LED on the sensor goes out and the discrete output is off. And as I allow the signal to go above the threshold, the uh, discrete output would turn on. Uh, in addition to the discrete output, there is a 0 to 5 volt analog output which can be monitored uh, by a PLC to, uh, to log or measure or otherwise record the, uh, the, uh, the measurement levels. So we're going to start with, oh, right now we have the sensor set at about 150 millimeters between the transmitter and the receiver. Uh, the transmitter in this case that we're using is uh, the high power uh, infrared transmitter. This is an OPAX 1000-THP. And again, as the light is transmitted, we'll get a, a relative signal level on the display. So we're going to look at a container here, which is a uh, OK opacity, acceptable. And you can see the signal level or the opacity is uh, well below the threshold, which I set at a value of 50. We'll go into the uh, setup menu. And we indicate a value of 50. That can be incremented or decremented to set the threshold anywhere within the range of 0 through 99. We're going to exit the setup menu. And right now we're of course below the threshold value of 50 and the discrete output is off. So this is an acceptable or an okay container and this is an unacceptable poor quality o container. And you can see the opacity is, uh, is less than the good, the good container and we're getting a reading of about 68 so we're above the th threshold level of 50 and the discrete output is activating. Um, in this type of an application, since we have discrete uh, containers, we would usually uh, recommend some type of uh, position sensor to indicate to your data system or your PLC that the container is properly positioned between the sensor, uh, sensor's transmitter and receiver and that we're getting a good reading. So at this point, we would read the sensor and see the discrete output is activated and reject this uh, poor opacity container. So that's the OPAX opacity sensor from EMX Industries.